Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joseph Ward, and welcome to my On the Shoulders of Giants YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this channel. And that notification button, click that notification button so every time I drop a new video, you will know what's going on. African history at your fingertips through this channel. You're getting biographies of your sung and unsung heroes right at your fingertips. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about On the Shoulders of Giants. Well, you can learn about yourself and we tell our own stories. Peace out. Dame Mary Eugenia Charles. Mary Eugenia Charles was born on May 15, 1919 in Point Michelle, Dominica to parents John Baptiste and Josephine Charles. Eugenia was born into a family who was considered to be of the bourgeois class of black people. Her father John Baptiste was a successful entrepreneur who started as a small stonemason and farmer but eventually opened a successful exporting business where he shipped produce to the United States and Britain. John Baptiste also owned one of the largest estates on the island of Dominica. He owned the Dominica Cooperative Bank, was appointed to the Senate in the upper house of the Federal Parliament of the West Indies in 1958, and served as the mayor of the island's capital city of Russo. Eugenia would attend the all-girls secondary school, the Covenant School in Dominica. While working at the Colonial Magistrate's Court, she would gain an interest in law. Her interest led her to working as an assistant for Sir Alistair Forbes, the president of the Courts of Appeal for St. Helena, the Falkland Islands, and the British Antarctic Territories. She attended college at the University of Toronto, then moved to the United Kingdom to attend the London School of Economics. Before she graduated college, she would become a member of the Sigma Gamma Rho sorority. Eugenia would pass the bar in the United Kingdom, then return home to Dominica. She opened her own law firm where she practiced property law, and this move would make her the first woman on the island of Dominica to practice law. In the 1960s, Eugenia would become active in politics. Her first political fight was opposing the island's restrictions on freedom of press. In the 1970s, she was a co-founder of the Dominica Freedom Party. She was the leader of the party from the early days of the party until 1995. In 1970, Eugenia was elected to the House of Assembly and was serving when the island of Dominica gained its independence from Britain in 1978. During Dominica's 1980 elections, each member of the Dominica Freedom Party who was campaigning was elected to the position they were pursuing. The party's first victory during the election was Eugenia being elected as Prime Minister of the island of Dominica. Eugenia's election made her Dominica's first woman Prime Minister the second prime minister in the Caribbean, and the first woman government head in the Americas. In addition to serving as prime minister, she was Dominica's foreign minister and chairperson of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. Eugenia showed her toughness and resilience when she was able to survive two attempts at a coup d'etat. In 1981, Frederick Newton attacked the Russo police headquarters in an attempt to take control of the police. His plans eventually failed and was executed in 1986. Later in 1981, mercenaries from Canada and America joined forces with white supremacist groups with plans to replace Eugenia with Patrick John, the former prime minister. They failed when their plans were spoiled by American federal agents in New Orleans, Louisiana. In 1991, Eugenia was knighted as Dame of the Order of Bath by Queen Elizabeth II at Harar, Zimbabwe during the Commonwealth Heads of Government Conference. She retired as the Prime Minister of Dominica in 1995 and her Dominica Freedom Party lost the general elections that year. In 2005, Eugenia was in the hospital having hip replacement surgery but died from a pulmonary embolism. She was recognized and criticized as the Prime Minister of Dominica. Her actions helped the island and she participated in the United States invasion of Grenada. Dame Mary Eugenia Charles, we stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com. And to learn more about the On the Shoulders of Giants nonprofit organization, visit www.ontheshoulders.org. 